I don't think you guys are ready for this one. Welcome to the new me show. Thank you guys so much for coming back. This is season two, episode two of the new me show. I am so excited to bring to you guys today. Um, I wanted, what I wanted to do was something fun to like engage all of my viewers. I wanted to show two different sides of makeup looks. Okay. I wanted to do this side to be like reddish, something red, like a red, you know, brown or something like that. And on this side, green and blue. So I wanted to just play with colors just to see in the end and get you guys, just, you know, ideas and um, comments and stuff to see what you guys like best. If this going to be this side or that side. So. First, what I'm gonna do, as I always do, is start off with my brow. I'm thinking about doing a red brow on this side and green on this side. I'm gonna have to play with colors. So first things first, I am going to pull out two of my favorite lip pencils, and that's what I'm gonna outline my brows with. So let's find that. I'm gonna actually use Brick with MAC. And I'm probably also gonna use a little bit of Night Moth, you know, my go-to. <laughs> Clean brows, nothing on it, no type of cream or anything like that, and just want to start filling everything in. Okay, so do you want to take your night moth and you kind of want to just trace over? Not too heavy because it's a darker color, so you just want to make sure that you're just facing over. Okay, after you have that all filled in and it's like to your liking or to the color that you like, then you want to get your concealer and kind of start going with that. Okay, so as I always like to start out with is my MAC. This is actually the new one as I told you guys in my previous video, 24 hour wear, but this is actually NC50 and that color. Take your flat angle brush and that's, how, that's what I like to trace my um, brow out with, just the flat brush itself. Okay, so when you have your brow to your liking, of course what you go in with next is your lighter color, which is gonna be basically the base for your um, eyeshadows to go on to. So again, I'm gonna go into my MAC 24 hour wear NC40. Yes, NC40. And we're gonna actually put that all over the eye. Okay, so once you have that set, then you want to go out to start doing your eyeshadows. So, since this side I want it to be more like a red funnish type of side, I'm thinking of orange, pink, and like a maroon. So orange fading into pink fading into maroon. Sounds fun. Then I'm gonna go to the pink right next to it called Dippy. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. The name people come up with these day on um, palette. I'm confused. Dippy? What is this? Anyhow, <laughs> we're gonna go into the color Dippy, which is that pink, and we're gonna kind of blend and fade that into this orange. See, this is why I love this palette. Very, 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 very pigmented as you guys can see. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the color that is under the color Hippie, and it's called Swag. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go into that one and put that one right on the outer side of that, uh, of that um, pink. Just make sure you blend those colors in really good. You don't want any harsh lines. You want a smooth transition to the next color. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I have my three main colors that are on there. So I have my orange, my pink, and my purple, and they're all blended into each other really well. As you can see, I left a little bit of a space up above my, um, like basically right underneath my on um, brow bone because I want to actually blend and fade that up into there. I like to get something that is close to my skin type and, uh, and actually, you know, blend with the colors and kind of blend it upwards. So I'm actually gonna go into a color that is close to my skin tone. 
I'm gonna actually go into my BA palette here, which is actually the ultimate artistry South Arm Shadow palette, which is gonna have some of those fun colors in there too as well. Um, I'm actually gonna go into this toffee brown, and I'm gonna actually pull that color out. And that is gonna be my transition color up above to kind of get it to fade into. Okay, so actually what I went ahead and did was I um, blended that um, MC30 actually with my paint pot. And again, that's the same one I always use, which is the Smart um, or, um, Ocher, sorry. Um, just a creamy, lighter color. I actually mixed those and made a little small um, palette on the back of my hand. And that's when I'm actually going to use the bulk of them to carve this crease. So it probably will work a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a really, 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 really thin, thin, thin artistry brush um, because I think this will help me a little bit more in my guiding. Okay, so I brought all that down. So once you have that etched out the way you want to etch out, it should be looking like this. Okay, next up what we're gonna do is actually I'm gonna set that, so I'm gonna get a little bit of my air spun powder, and I'm gonna actually set that in there because I don't want any creases or anything like that to occur in the middle of this. Okay, so after we do that, I'm gonna take these three upper colors that I have and I'm gonna actually reverse these colors. Ooh, something new. <laughs> I'm gonna reverse these colors actually at the bottom and I'm gonna have the um, purple fading into the pink fading into the orange at the bottom. Um, I'm still gonna leave my space there because I want it to be actually a line up above. So I'm still gonna leave a little bit of space there. So actually just reverse those colors and leave a little bit there, but we're gonna have to go through with a little bit more concealer just to reframe that out. So let's get the colors. Okay, so now this eye is actually complete and it looks beautiful. So what I'm gonna actually do now is go to the next eye. So on this side, for this brow, I'm gonna do an all navy blue eyebrow. And I'm gonna go into actually the palette that I'm using for um, this side, which is the BH um, Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette. I'm gonna go into this and go into that navy blue and I'm gonna actually use that for my brow on this side. I wanna spray my brush with um, some type of a setting spray. So it can be any brand of your choice. Um, I am actually going to use um, Studio Fix um, spray on mine. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, I'm actually gonna start back with that palette again. I'm actually gonna start on this side. Now since we have everything concealed underneath that eye, I'm gonna actually start with my inner color that I'm gonna use is gonna be this purple. It's gonna fade into that green and into that blue. So let's start with the purple. Still green and that's gonna be actually in the center there. That's gonna transition with the purple and dive right in that center. Then after we have our centerpiece done with that teal blue and the teal green, we're gonna go in actually into our navy blue that we did for our brows and that's gonna be our outer color. Okay, everybody, so we're back. We actually have that blended all out. Hold on, I see a little piece. Let me get that together. My navy. Okay. Perfect, so we have that all bl um, blended as well. We have our navy blue, blended into our teal green put it into our purple. And we're actually gonna do the same thing on this side. We're going to carve this out and I'm gonna actually flip those colors over. Okay, so then when you have that kind of like that, where you need it to be, what you wanna do is take you a fine tip um, brush and you wanna kind of go back into that um, kind of line cut crease that you have. And what you wanna do is kind of just sharpen that up with a little bit of your concealer. So make sure you go really, really, really carefully because you don't want to mess up your look. Okay, 
Okay, so once you have all your blending done and you have all your techniques done when it comes to actually smoothing everything out and you finish that line over top. So I'm gonna actually go back into my um, BH Cosmetics palette and the Ultimate Artistry Shadow palette. And I'm gonna actually use this white that's here. It's kind of like a little white. If you can see that, I'm gonna use that one at the top. And I wanna actually run that along my line cut crease that I have. So I'm gonna actually spray my um, brush with some more um, setting spray just so I can be able to make that um, stick onto the brush. So after I get done doing my face and putting my lashes on and doing my wing, I'll be right back with you guys to put my highlight on. Then we can actually see what the finished look is going to come out to be. Be back, y'all. Okay, everybody, I am back. Once you have everything together foundation-wise, you have your foundation on, you have everything blended out, I am going to use actually Color Honest on this side, and I'm going to actually use Loyal on this side. Okay, and as always, what I'm going to add to this blush is because I like it to kind of transition down a little bit darker. I'm going to go into my handy dandy matte and Ambering Rose, which is this beautiful shimmer blush, and I love that. I'm going to actually go into that, and I'm going to bring that down right underneath there, just for a little bit darker contouring. Okay, don't laugh at me, you guys, because I don't know. It doesn't have any lettering on it. Okay, so I got this highlight from uh, somebody a long, 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 long time ago. Um, and I don't know the name of it, but this is amazing highlight. It's actually like in an ice color. Like, you know, Jeffy Star, I think, has that ice color or like a, a really white highlight. It's kind of like that shimmer. And that is like what this is, and I don't even know the name of it. So don't judge me, but just if you're looking for a highlight in this, in, in, in this tone, make sure you get a white shimmer highlight, because that's what I'm gonna use on my apples of my cheeks. So I'm gonna go into that. Just a little bit, because this is very light. And then also down the bridge of the nose, I'm going to do it as well in a smaller brush. I'll highlight the cupid's bow on your lip. And then a little on the center of my head. I don't have to go as far as me. <laughs> with highlight, but I love a good highlight. And then also on my other highlighted area, which is my chin, the point of your chin. And there you're all done with your highlight. Look at that. Yes! I am living for this highlight. Everything. So, moving on to lips. Since we have two different sides, of course we have to break it up and do two different colors. So, <laughs> I'm gonna actually go and dip into my MAC matte collection, and it's gonna be, I'm gonna use Young Attitude in the Retro Matte. If you guys know that collection that's out, this is kind of like a tillish blue. I'm gonna go with that one, of course, on the blue side. And then on this side, I'm gonna go with Old Lady on that side, which is this kind of matted pink.
Okay, and there are your two colors on your lips. So after you're done with all that, then you are done. It's time for you to get ready and head out. So what I'm about to do is actually go get my hair together and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, and we are back again for another flawless finish. You know what? I really love <laughs> this look. Like, I don't know which side I even choose. So it's kind of crazy for me to ask you guys because I don't know which one I like the most because I like both of them. Oh my God, come on, highlight. What are you, keep on playing with this highlight. Who made this? If you out there and you made something like this, please reach back to me because I don't know what it is. Please keep me informed, honey, because this highlight is everything. I don't even know who this is made by. Anyhow, all I see is white silver. So if you know you made a product with the damn name called white silver, you know who to hit up. But anyhow, this look is everything, and I just don't know which one I'm more in love with. Um, I don't know. I am living for this. Oh my gosh. So anyhow, <laughs> you guys, please, 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 I love, I would love for you guys to comment below and let me know which side you like the most. And I hope this inspired somebody to either come up with something of their own. If you do decide to do a look like this that is um, a two-tone face, please, 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 please hashtag me in it if it's on Instagram, Twitter, um, Snapchat, anything. Just make sure you hashtag me in it because I would love to see what you guys come up with. Um, so yes, I just thought I've never seen anyone do something like this before, you know, but I also don't watch YouTube that much, so it possibly could be a video out there like that. So I just thought I'll just do a two-faced video and kind of see which one I like the most and kind of get you guys' opinion. So yeah. Anyhow, again, thank you so much for coming back to watch my show. Again, this was season two, episode two. I'm so excited to be back with you guys. Much, 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 much more content to come. Please like, subscribe. Again, if you haven't already, I've not said that a million times, but <laughs> share the video on you guys' Facebook pages, Instagrams, everything. So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching me. I appreciate it.